Oh, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Friday, the first day of March 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying amen to today's prophetic prayers. Today is the first day of the third month of the year 2024. Welcome to March, our month of divine empowerment. I want to pray for you this day, the first day of the month, that the all Almighty God will empower you. When God empowers a man, no force or power can remove that power. When God empowers a man, whatever that man lays his hand upon to do, there will always be prosperity. So for everyone hearing the sound of my voice, this first day of the month of March, I wish and I pray for everyone receive divine empowerment in Jesus' name. The Lord said this month we shall be divinely empowered empowered. When God empowers you, you'll be able to do what you have not been able to do before. And our anchor scripture for this month is Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse number 18. It reads, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is swore to your fathers as it is this day. And not that translation say you should remember God that it is he who has empowered you to get wet. I want to pray for you that this month of March you will receive divine enablement. That is another word for empowerment. God will empower you to do what had been difficult for you in time past in the name of Jesus Christ. What you have not been able to do in the past whether physically or spiritually by the grace and the power that is coming upon you to Today, all will be done with ease in Jesus' name. When Jesus Christ was about to be taken, he told the disciples in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, he said, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, and that power will enable you to be my witnesses in all the cities you go. So, I am praying for somebody this first day of the month that God will empower you physically, he will empower you spiritually, God will empower you maritally. He will empower you academically. God will empower you socially. God will empower you strategically. Intellectually, God will empower you in the name of Jesus. The Lord said I should pray for somebody this morning. Is there those things that enemy have stolen? Is there those things that enemies have stolen from your life? The Lord said I should tell you that there shall be restoration. I say amen to that. I don't know what those things are, but the Lord said I should tell somebody that the things that that enemies have stolen or taken away from you and they thought they have ripped you off. He said, I should tell you that there shall be total restoration. If you are that person, let your amen be the loudest in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Every one of us in this month of March, I pray that the Lord will march you forward. The Lord will make you to go forward. You will never retrogress. This month, you will make meaningful progress, but you will never retrogress in Jesus name. All March celebrant. You were born in the month of March or you have your birthday in the month of March or you have occasional ceremony. You always do or remember in the month of March. I pray for you all March celebrant that this year celebration shall be with ease and with favor and prosperity in the name of Jesus. As you get a year older this month, this will not be the last birthday you will witness or mark or celebrate in Jesus name. All pregnant women, I want to pray for you that this month of March your pregnancy you will carry through especially those of you that are going to be visiting favor room this month to have your baby and babies. I pray that all will end in praise in Jesus name. For those of you that are going to be getting married in this month of March, I want to agree with you that your wedding will be celebrated on a very glorious note. God will meet all the needs. There shall be be no mishap. 
there will be no disappointment there will be no trouble anywhere everything will end in praise in jesus name those of you that are going to be uh, attending interviews in this month of march i pray that the lord will go ahead of you and god will make everything to be in your favor in jesus name those of you traveling this month of march whether locally or internationally i pray that your journey will be to the glory and praise of the almighty god in jesus name oh is somebody hearing pastor Inella this morning and you are sick in your body wherever you are whether you are at home on the sick bed or you are in the hospital wherever you are i command the healing power of god to flow into your system right now and be healed now in jesus name oh somebody is hearing me this morning you are just so confused you don't even know what to do again i see god almighty coming to your rescue today and giving you direction on what to do in jesus name you are blessed and you are lifted somebody shout amen i believe as i receive glory to god we bless the name of the lord for the month of march is here again and the lord will move us forward in jesus name in our bible reading Today being Friday, the first day of March, we are going to be reading the last two chapters of the book of Job today. That is Job chapter 41 and chapter 42. The book of Job chapter 41 and chapter 42. By the grace of God, tomorrow, Saturday, if Jesus studies, we are going to start reading the book of Psalms. And let me please quickly prepare us. By the time we start reading the book of Psalms, definitely we are going to be reading more than two or three chapters. There are some of the chapters that are very short. So, Sometimes we can read up to five chapters. Some it could be four. And also there are times we're going to read only one chapter, especially when we get to Psalm 119. We are going to read just only one chapter. So please get ready as we read the book of Psalm from tomorrow. But today, read the book of Job, chapter 41 and 42. The Lord bless us. Today, for those of us that always watch Reverend Eniola on Dove Television from 9.30 to 10, the program is not going to come up this this morning the destiny recovery hour with reverend nola is not going to be on dove tv this morning because of the live program that is ongoing on dove tv to celebrate the 82nd birthday of our esteemed father in the lord daddy geo pastor enoch adejari adeboye so i reverend mike and Ola, on behalf of millions of your children around the world daddy we wish you happy birthday and many happy returns we pray that the lord will preserve you the lord will lengthen your life and still keep you here for us because you are father to many of us we wish you happy birthday daddy may the lord bless you sir and we your children will celebrate you we celebrate more of god's grace upon your life god bless you and keep you daddy in jesus name hallelujah let me take one testimony this morning before we call it a day and this is coming all the way from the united states it's a testimony to the greatness of god is a this testimony is to the greatness of god which is unimaginable fasting praying and anointing service that was concluded on the 31st of january i went with my mom to for my citizenship interview on the first day of february that is just a day after the mantle service and it went my way and i was sworn in as a citizen of the united states on the february night i have not lived here for many years but god took over and i got my citizenship certificate and God is just too much. God has been undertaking for us, keeping our faith and trusting God, and it ended in praise. Thanks to God, and I want to appreciate Reverend Eniola and all the ministerial leadership and dedication for his ministerial leadership and dedication to his calling. God bless you and keep you and keep strengthening you by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, sir. I'm so so person from the US. Wow. You remember during that mantle service, I said you should get your mantle. And I say, even the clothes you want to wear for an interview, you should put it on. There are several testimonies that have been coming in related to that. So you also still keep your mantle. It is still very powerful and God will perform miracles in your life too. In Jesus name. Remember what we usually do every first day of the month. Two things I always encourage us to do, which has become our custom and tradition and has been working over the years. What are the two things? Today being the first day of the month, give god a quality thanksgiving offering that you are seeing the month of march the last of the first quarter this month we mark the end of the first quarter of the year 
So give him a quality thanksgiving offering. Give it unto God as your thanksgiving offering. Then number two, make sure that something go out of your hand into another person's hand today. Somebody say, Pastor Enola, I don't have. You do have. You have. It may be little. It may be much. It may not even be money. Some people do give out full stuff. Some just recharge card. Just make sure that you start this month with giving. First, Give God your thanksgiving offering. Then secondly, look for somebody and bless today. As you do that, the hand of a giver is always on top. As you give, you will never be stranded. Thank you, faithful God. Please, our subject that we've been taking since a few days ago, talking about advice. Please don't joke with advice. If you see people that are advising you, praise God for that. If you don't have advisors, Pray that God will connect you with one or two of them. Godly advisors. People that can advise you to go in a godly way. And when they advise you, you follow suit. Somebody said, Daddy, what do you say of somebody, a lady, that the parent, whether the mother or the father, advised her to do something? She did it and the thing failed. Now, if she refused to follow, if she refused to take it to their advice in the future, would that be considered to be disobedience? And I said, no. I said, no, that cannot be considered to be a disobedience. But even if you are not going to follow the advice, you have to do it politely and with respect. Who knows that the first advice failed doesn't mean that subsequent ones will fail too. So everything must be put in line and in the way of the Lord. All that we have been saying in summary is that always listen to advice. Don't just think within you and you carry it out. There's a parable in Yoruba language that says, Anekan Kweru, Lomamba Yesu. Yoruba people say that, that Anekan Kweru, Lomamba Yesu, meaning that the person who thinks alone that sleep with his mother. If he open his mouth to share with somebody and said, this is what I want to do. Somebody must have said, this is insane. Don't carry it out. So please, when you need advice, speak out. God will connect you with godly advisors. I pray for everyone today that your heavens will remain open. This month of March, you will enjoy blessings and supernatural provisions of heaven. God bless you. Read your Bible today, the book of Job chapter 41 and 42. Give God your thanksgiving offering and bless somebody today. Get ready for healing and breakthrough service coming up on Monday in the city of Lokoja. God bless you. Have a lovely and a glorious Friday. Amen.